because I don't shoot color film very often, so I decided since it was my day off, I'd load a roll of Kodak Ektar 100 into my camera, just walk around and shoot for a couple hours and see what I could get. So I just wanted to do a quick little review and to show you guys some pictures. Alright, enjoy the pictures. you enjoyed those pictures um, I just wanted to throw a couple comments at the end of the video I did shoot the photos on this Canon FT um, great camera fully manual you know I just used the light meter inside it's just a little pin that you got to hit in the middle great little camera I also shot the Ektar at box speed so that's 100 like I said earlier I don't normally shoot color film so it was kind of just a fun little something to do I was just sitting at home kind of bored and I've had this roll of Ektar sitting in my refrigerator for probably two years now I'm glad I finally went out and shot it really impressed with it I know it's got a lot of cyan and red hues, it really brings out the reds and it makes the skies look very, you know, cyan or blue. Kind of happy with that. It made everything look pretty cool, almost a vintage -y feel to it. I also developed it at home using a C41 Technicolor press kit. I think it's a Technicolor. It's either the Technicolor or the Jobo. It's one of the two. I usually switch whichever one you can find cheaper on Amazon is which one it was. I think it was a Technicolor. Um, developing C41 at home is very easy. It's all about keeping the temperature, you know, consistent. It's usually like 102 degrees. I'll do a whole video on color developing one of these days when I get around to it. I just had a blast going around and shooting these photos. I hope you enjoyed them. If you have any questions about the Ektar or the Canon FT or anything at all, just leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to be doing this a lot, so yeah. Have a good weekend, guys.